Hello everybody, welcome to my weekly video. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. Uh, I am a alcoholic. Uh, I've been fighting alcoholism all my life, but seriously fighting it since June of 2013. I've had uh, success fighting uh, with my methods. My methods are uh, by uh, doing videotapes such as this one. I also have a webpage, www.clearviews.info. Uh, you can uh, go there and you will find articles and videos uh, that are either taped or written by fellow uh, addicted uh, people to alcohol or drugs or also written or videotaped by doctors. Uh, by all means, my, my webpage is not a alternative uh, to any formal type of uh, recovery. It is uh, pretty much just a tool that you can utilize, which I do daily and that is to acquaint yourself with different methods you could use, uh, uh, hear other people's testimony on, on how they uh, fight addiction every day. Uh, this is my form of testimony, which is, is to provide you with a videotape. Uh, also to, to go on Facebook on my webpage there, uh, I should say Facebook page, which is uh, clearviews.info and my webpage. Uh, for you folks that are pretty new to seeing me, I just want to provide you with contact information. My phone number is 631-599-0218. I want to say that nice and slow so you can write it down. 631-599-0218. You can also reach me at Ralph, that's R-A-L-F dot Friedrichs, F-R-I-E-D-R-I-C-H-S at yahoo.com. You can email me there. You can also call my business number, which is 1-844-393-9355. I just want to talk about uh, an important uh, uh, event that's coming, which is 4th of July. Today is the 1st of July. Why is that important? Uh, well, it's, it, it has its own uh, meaning, really, which I don't want to discuss because we all know what 4th of July really does mean. What we do want to discuss is what people, uh, they add a separate meaning, and that meaning would be to party. Uh, we need to really uh, be careful on how uh, we approach 4th of July. For people that uh, are watching me and are still drinking or drugging, uh, you probably will feel that the 4th of July is one of those days. Well, yeah, the only way to have a good time is to uh, drink, snort, smoke. Uh, I, I'm here to tell you, I have now, since June of 2013, went through many different holidays sober. Um, they've been just as much fun, if not more, fun than uh, holidays that I was either drunk or totally passed out uh, because I actually get to, to enjoy uh, the festivities. Um, I'm not laying in a corner passed out. Uh, I get to enjoy my relatives. I get to enjoy my, uh, my children, grandchildren, whatever. I'm here to enjoy it now. So as you approach the 4th of July, uh, be careful of all those things. You don't have to drink. You don't have to smoke. You don't have to snort. Not only on holidays you don't have to do that, but you don't have to do it at all. I'm here to tell you there are better days ahead, but you need to take that first step. You need to say, Ralph, I am ready today, 1st of July, 2014, to put all that under the rug and move forward. Now, I want to discuss a certain... Uh, stage where you need to go through this and that the first step is obviously is to say I'm ready. Then you go one day at a time, 24 hours every day. You just worry about that day. Tomorrow you worry about that day. Next week worry about it next week. You cannot today worry about are you going to be sober in two days from now because it's not going to work. You need to take it step by step day by day. Please do it that way. It works. It works for me. It works for a million other people. It'll work for you. Just listen and do it the way I'm telling you to do it, and it will work. And I'm not the only person that will tell you that, because successful people that are sober from either drugs or alcohol will tell you that um, you need to go step by step. So please do it that way. Once you have achieved that initial maybe 72 hours of sobriety, uh, you might, uh, in between the first hour and that 72 hours, you might have had the shakes, you might have been nervous, you might have even fallen off the wagon. If so, please don't give up. 
Never ever give up. Nothing is impossible. So pull yourself up by the collar, dust your knees and start all over again. I'm telling you, it will work if you just set your mind at it. Before I became sober for as long as I have been now, which is a year and a couple of weeks, I have tried over and over, possibly up to six times, every time not succeeding. Why did it work this time? Because I had a goal. I set a certain goal for myself and I'm following it to the T. And besides that, I finally hit rock bottom. And once you hit rock bottom, you know you are finished and, and, and it's done. So um, day by day, start little steps at a time, day by day, week by week. I will tell you, when I first started, I counted every single day. I would go and say, wow, today's day, day 13, day 20, day 100. But after day 100, I stopped. And what I did then is uh, I just did this format, and that is to uh, witness to you folks, because by doing this for you, I'm doing it for me. It refreshes my memory each and every day on what my life could be like. So I don't want that to be like that. So. Every day is a new challenge for me, as it will be for you. And you just need to keep going. So as for July approaches, you need to just be careful. Um, I wouldn't wait until 4th July to say, okay, I'm going to stop drinking today. Do it today. 1st of July, 2014, say, I am done with the drinking, the smoking, the snorting. It's simple. I know I'm saying it's simple because I'm already at this point. But I will say that if you put your mind to it, you will succeed. Set that goal and, and go forward. Utilize another alcoholic that's recovering. Utilize another person that's on drugs that's recovering. Because they know what you're going through. They know each and every step that you're going to be facing. Sure, you can get the support from your friends and family who are sober, who don't drink, don't, don't smoke and snort. They are going to support you in each and every way. Do they understand you? Probably not. That's why it does say seek another alcoholic, seek another person on drugs, but only seek them if they are in some sort of recovery program or a, a, a self-recovery uh, um, system like I have. Not if they're going to continuously drink. In other words, don't just walk in the bar and look at this guy just sitting there getting totally toasted and say, hey, it said seek another alcoholic. I want you to help me because he can't. He really cannot help you. Go and seek a person that's doing the steps, whether it's an AA or doing methods like I utilize, and you both can work together. You can become sober together. You can share your stories together. Do that. And if you're on drugs, the same. I want to tell anyone that's watching me out there right now, if, if you go to www.clearviews.info, go to page 7. Click on page 7. On page 7, you'll find rehab centers for every state. Click on the state that you're in and call or notify that rehab center immediately if you're in need for immediate attention and if you can't even get to that because it's so bad or you're watching me and, and and you can barely even move get to a phone call 911 immediately do not hesitate you don't want to have something happen that cannot be turned around and and have you recover from so um, and you know I do say if anybody's watching that uh, might be from a different state because I just recently had a person that contacted me from Texas. So I do know my website and my Facebook pages and these videos are all over the country. So I urge you, please utilize any system that works for you, but it has to work. It really does. Sure, in AA they say to seek God. I'm, I'm religious. I'm not as uh, religious as uh, some people are. I do believe in God, but I do believe that God makes my days the way he wants them to turn out. In other words, he, he, he is the guiding light. Uh, and, and no matter what I do, I can only set my own mind and constantly uh, do the right thing for myself, whether it's my lifestyle, my professional workplace, 
or my addiction. But God ultimately is going to uh, be the direction uh, person for me. Um, everything happens for a reason. Everything. When I became sober in June of 2013, that was for a reason. What the reason is, I can only speculate. It could be to live longer, to, to be a better husband, be a better father, be a better grandfather, to be a better human. But everything happens for a reason. And I want you to know that nothing, absolutely nothing is impossible as long as you believe you can do it. But you have to believe you can do it. Remind you, a sober today makes for a better and clearer tomorrow. If you quit today, tomorrow will be better. Even if you wake up and, and you're nauseous because you didn't drink and you're depending on it, which I've gone through, well, I thought I needed that vodka to bring my blood level back down and my the alcohol, my blood back down. The first couple of days might be tough, but a sober today makes for a better tomorrow, meaning it will become a chain reaction. Your days will become better. And when they do become better, you'll, you'll be totally amazed. You'll be overwhelmed of the things that you've been missing out being passed out in the corner, whether it be, whether it being drunk on drugs or whatever. All these things that you've been missing out on, you will now see clearer. So as we approach 4th July, if you know anyone, and I know there is somebody out there or some folks that are out there that probably don't drink or do drugs, but if you're watching this just because you were curious to see what I had to say, I know that you know someone, whether it's in your family, friends, uh, business acquaintances that either have an alcohol and drug problem. I urge you, please forward this video, forward my webpage, www.clearviews.info to them. Work to help them because a lot of times when we're under the influence of alcohol or drugs, we don't see clear enough to know which uh, angle or which channel to go to to get help. So it's up to you, the sober person, to help. Help them. If you care enough, you will help them. Now, if my videotapes you feel that aren't going to help them, send them to a rehab. Give them whatever information they need. Go to my page seven, there is some. Recommend AA, recommend church. All those things you can do, but you need to help, so I urge even if you're sober watching this, to please help, because I guarantee you, in every person's life, whether we're on drugs, alcohol, or um, whatever else, even if we're not doing it, there are people around us doing it, people that we care for, people that might be even living with you, might be your children, might be your mother, your mo father, your grandparents. God knows who it might be, but please support them, help them. I try to support people each and every day. You know, it's funny, I go into a store or I go into wherever and I'll see somebody and I see that person just laying there in the corner, maybe outside of 7-Eleven with a, uh, what do they call them, the 40-ounce beers, totally drunk. And the first thing I want to do is go and witness to that person and what could change. I want to go and help that person. I want to maybe possibly give them some information about my website. But these days you have to be careful who you talk to. You don't want to offend people. Um, so I, I do it in a less uh, formal way, and that's by doing these videos and, and by um, posting on Facebook and uh, my webpage and uh, whatever else I might have to do. I've had people actually contact me that want me to come to certain events and possibly speak to help people that are out there. Because I know I can reach, whether it's you or people over there, over there, I can help. I am the witness that people can become healthier, better, by eliminating the drugs and alcohol. But I can't force people, you can't force people. But we can witness to them, we can tell them. We can say, listen, look at this video, look at the website, go look at any other website that, that's pro uh, uh, helping uh, people with addictions. And, and look at them and, and guide them towards the right direction and they will hopefully, and I say hopefully, let it sink in enough. Because unless they're ready, unless they're, they're totally ready to do it, they're not going to do it. But at least you know that you have been helping to, to, to uh, bring out all this information to them. Remember, karma is a very big thing. And I always say that uh, 
whatever you do today, whether it's good or bad for people, will come back to you, whether it's good or bad. So try to do the right thing. Try to help people. Uh, I want to close this up. Uh, I just want to thank each and every one for supporting me, by watching me, by forwarding my information to your loved ones, your professional colleagues, whoever. I just want to thank you because without you, this wouldn't happen because I can sit here all I want and videotape myself, but I need people to channel this to other people. I need people like you to help me. I want to help me by helping you or your friends or your colleagues. So thank you for supporting me. Uh, I just want to say that um, nothing, nothing whatsoever is impossible. If you believe you can do it, you can do it. And always remember, a sober today makes for a clear tomorrow, and a sober today makes for a better tomorrow. I hope to talk to you guys real soon. If anybody needs to talk to me immediately, 631-599-0218, or go to my webpage, www.clearviews.info. I hope to talk to or see you real soon. Take care. And remember, nothing is impossible. Just believe you can do it and have a great day. A sober today makes for a clear tomorrow. Stay sober. <laughs>